I made a huge mistake buying this Canon M50. A while back, I used to be heavily into video. And then 10 years ago, I sold all my gear and I got fully into analog photography. Um, and since then, I just never been up to like the latest digital cameras. I just didn't know about it. Last year, 2019, November, I thought about making this YouTube channel. So I was checking around on YouTube, you know, what are, what are YouTubers um, using, etc. Many of them were recommending this Canon M50 because it's uh, low price, it's cheap, and also you, it shoots 4K. I don't have a camera that shoots 4K, so um, I thought that this is like a, a, a must-have. So I bought it. It was a total impulse buy. Um, after watching maybe th three or four YouTubers, yeah, this is it. What could go wrong in 2020? This should this should have everything. After I got it, I realized it didn't have one important thing, which was an audio jack, a headphone jack. Now I thought about returning it, but I thought, well, that's I use it a bit. I'm just gonna deal with it. Let me get this totally straight. I don't blame this camera. I don't blame the YouTubers who recommended it. I blame myself 100%. Um, I should have checked thoroughly. And that said, I'm not gonna return it. I'm just going to deal with it. I'm gonna work with it. I'm gonna use it for one year. Yeah, so today I wanna tell you my suggestions or my how I'm gonna work with it. If you're gonna get into to serious video work, um, I could say right now, stay away from this camera because it doesn't have a headphone jack. And if it doesn't have a headphone jack, it's going to interfere with the workflow. And the workflow, I think, is absolutely king. Um, yes, um, it shoots great video. Um, it, it, the image quality is nice. Um, however, the workflow, I think, is paramount as well. If you don't have enough money for a camera, um, like a, like a full-frame camera, um, or a camera that has an audio headphone jack, I would suggest to get a handy cam, um, which this video is being shot on, by the way. This is to the people who are thinking about getting this camera. And I guess um, these are to people who are probably thinking about getting it to YouTube. Um, you're probably looking at this because it has a flip screen. Um, it has a mic import, uh, input. It has some decent glass. Um, and it's relatively low price, yeah? The current workflow is you shoot your video you replay it on the screen and you listen to the audio on the crappy speakers. Or you connect it to a television or an HDMI monitor uh, and then you can hear for, you know, the, uh, the, the final audio output. Now, if you hear some unwanted noise or sounds, etc., you're gonna have to reshoot that. Whereas if you had heard it while you're monitoring the video, um, then you would know immediately and then cut, shoot it right there. I bought this camera. Um, I'm not happy with it, but I'm not gonna return it. I've heard other people recommend using one of these um, adapters. It's a micro to HDMI or VGA adapter that has an audio port. Um, now for some reason, I don't know why, but when I connect this to the Canon, I still cannot monitor the audio. I don't know why, perhaps it's this particular um, adapter, but I couldn't get it to, to I, I could not monitor the audio. I can get playback, but I cannot get um, monitor. 
One solution is to get an external audio recorder. Um, this has ports for external mics, like a shotgun mic, like this, a condenser mic. It has phantom power. It, it powers up this this kind this type of mic. Now it has headphone jack. And what I do is um, you get a Y splitter, an audio splitter, connected to the output of this. You're going to have the cable from the mic going into the recorder, and it can output one to my headphones, and second, using this male to male um, extension cable, connect this to the Canon. Now, the benefit of this is that um, I'm able to monitor in real time. I can catch the problems. Um, and secondly is I can record, I could do a backup recording of the audio. Here, this is my workflow. This is my solution for working with the Canon M50, uh, specifically for you, you know, these YouTube, YouTube videos. Um, this is a bit extreme. And I got a, uh, a six channel audio mixer. Now, I don't recommend this really for, for mo most people, but it, this, this works for me, okay? And also, I can't really take it out of this, this, compart this compartment because of uh, the cables and whatnot. But basically, uh, what this is, is um, I have the microphone port here. My condenser mic goes into here. Um, and I control the, the gain, the highs and the lows um, with these knobs here. And I can monitor with the headphone jack with this. Um, but also, the audio that's coming from the HDM from my TV or the HDMI, the audio is coming directly into here. So I could play back and hear instantly through my headphones while I'm recording, okay? So again, I could monitor the audio while recording. And also when I play back, the audio from the TV, it's coming out, it's coming into here and into my headphones. So I'm saving a lot of time. Um, with 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 my pace yeah it's it's faster so this is extreme i don't really recommend it for um like beginners um but this is how i i will work with things not only with the canon but with other video projects so what's my conclusion about this camera i think this is a this is for recreational use uh this is not for serious video work and I think making a YouTube channel is serious uh, video work. And by not having an, an, uh, an audio output, this will really cause some delays in, the, uh, in your workflow. So I would stay away from cameras, from this camera or other cameras with no audio headphone jacks. Okay, that's all for today. Future videos are going to focus on Japan and photography, so catch you then. Bye for now.